Today, we're gonna to be getting into the weeds and tackling cable management. There are plenty of cable management solutions available, but I'm going for the seamless look, which will require a little bit more effort and a couple of power tools. Cable management is my favorite thing to dial in as it creates a more visually pleasing space and makes the space feel more open. Let's go ahead and start with the TV. This is the Samsung frame, which is designed to look like a picture frame. It has a small fiber optic cable that brings in both data and power from its external media box. Overall, out of the box, the default setup is pretty clean, but to really sell the picture frame look, the cables need to be routed through the wall. Thankfully, routing cables is made easy with this wall cable management kit. It includes the hole saw attachment and pass-through grommets. You should never drill blind, so before you drill, grab a stud finder and make note of any studs. After you know where the studs are, measure out where you want the hole to be. Once you finalize your measurements, go ahead and start with a smaller drill bit and drill a pilot hole to help guide the larger drill bit and hole saw. Then go ahead and equip your hole saw attachment and drill the hole. Once you have your hole, run the cables through the grommet, then through the wall. Finally, mount the grommet and then remount your TV. Next, we're going to be tackling the media center, but first, some power tool free tips. For stubborn, inflexible coaxial cables, a 90 degree coax elbow is an easy way to route the cable down and closer to the wall. If your coax outlet is far from your power outlet and modem, you can route the cable with these coaxial clips to get a cleaner cable run. Another easy cable management tip is to use a flush mount extension cord. This takes two seconds to install and helps get your furniture flush with the wall, eliminating any gap caused by larger power plugs. It's a small detail, but the smaller gap is a nice touch that keeps continuity between the wall and furniture. The two aforementioned tips should clean up your setup considerably, but there is still the surge protector we need to deal with. Now you could mount this with 3M tape to the bottom of your media center and have minimal cables exposed, but for invisible cables, the best method is to hide them in the media unit itself. If your media unit does not have cable management, you can easily add it. For my cable management routing, I'll start by placing painter's tape on the surface to prevent blowouts and excessive splintering. I'll then mark where I want my hole to be and again drill a pilot hole like we did earlier with our TV cable management. Once I know where the hole will be, I'll add painter's tape to the backside as well. Finally, we're ready to drill our hole. For my setup, I'm using a two and a half inch hole saw. This is a great diameter to get large plugs and a couple of cables through. Once the hard work is done, run your cables out through the back.
protect the cables from getting snagged and to refine the look of your routing, add some edge trim to the circumference of your hole. Finally, plug everything back in and you're done. If punching holes through walls and furniture aren't your thing, don't panic as there are plenty of creative cable management solutions out there to help you dial in your own space. Hopefully though, this video could provide some inspiration for your next cable management project.